270 million years ago, the Farallon Plate subducted right underneath the North American Plate. And as that happened, um, fluids rose up from the Farallon Plate and the magma traveled up above the rock and then created magma chambers along the way while it melted the rock as it was going up. And 100 million years ago, those magma chambers cooled down and created the plutons. And those plutons are not, ex are not exposed because of the erosional processes that we are going to go see today at Joshua Tree National Park. And Arch Rock Trail is about a 15 minute hike from the trailhead. In 1994, under the California Desert Protection Act, it was renamed as Joshua Tree National Park and it protects over 800,000 acres of wilderness in a desert. And this is where the Mojave Desert and the Colorado Desert converges. We halfway through our trail. I wonder what these are. Wow. Now we know what those line of rocks are called and they are actually called dikes and there's more behind me. They stick up because they are more resistant to erosion. Behind me is arch rock and we're gonna go up and hike up to it. is a prime example of differential weathering where you can see most likely like millions of years ago the rocks that have eroded away were softer clay than the ones that we see right now. So water most likely is percolated through the softer clay and then eroded away much faster than these rocks that are made out of granite. in this giant granite rock and then just eroded it away. And most likely in millions of years from now, this area right here is gonna break off, fall down, and it's gonna be a different rock formation. These platonic intrusions are called Monza granite. As groundwater percolated through the Monzo granite joint fractures, it began to transform hard mineral into soft clay, while it loosened and freed grains resistant to solution. Rectangular stones slowly weathered into spheres of hard rock surrounded by soft clay material. We call these unique rock formations inselbergs. So imagine holding an ice under a faucet and you will see for after a few minutes that it turns into a spherical figure because mo much of the force of the water is towards the corners of the ice cube. And so the same thing happened to these rocks, but in a much wetter environment and for millions of years, and you get these formations. After the arrival of the arid climate times, flesh floods began um, um, washing away the protective grand layer of these rocks and as that happened away as that happened these rocks these large boulders began stacking right on top of one another and that's why you, you see these rocks these huge rocks on top of one another 